This is how it all started. Bus owners give conductors tickets in blocks which they give passengers in exchange for money. But often the collectors purchased additional tickets in order to make their own money without the owners knowing about that. The second aspect is the management of tickets. It was manual, hence difficult to calculate. So they called me to help find a means to secure ticketing. And that is how Mustafa Ndiaye invented Transpace Solution, an invention that controls bus fare fraud. Two devices are involved. One is the smartphone and the other is an automatic printing machine. The smartphone is equipped with an Android application and we developed a software that helps us manage ticketing called Transpay Solution. Its server can load up to 800 tickets. With this invention, there are many levels of security. For example, the smartphone has been blocked in such a way that they can't misuse it for anything. They can only connect and sell. Since Transpay Solution was put in place, bus owners have reported surging revenues. The fair collectors are also satisfied because gone are the days of counting numerous tickets after work. This device makes the work easier because it saves us time. Before, we would stay for long hours to count money and tickets after work. It's also very secure. Because of Transpay, the bus owner can also verify the number of tickets sold. More than 200 minibuses are now equipped with this system. When the bus owner connects, automatically the device sends to the server the time that the collector resumed work or started selling. For example, when a ticket for the first section is sold, we will have the EIG, the registration, the line, the itinerary, the section, the cost, the zone, the serial number, as well as the date and the minute the ticket was sold. After work in the evening, the fair collector prints his report, then he does the stock and the computing. What used to be done manually is now automated. Then he takes the stock, the report and the money for the payment. 300 other bus owners want to get the device, but Mustafa does not have the means to acquire enough terminals in order to meet the demand. The only concern we have is the problem of funding. We have received some money from the bank, but it is still not enough, given that we want to continue our innovations in the sectors of transport and renewable energies. In five years' time, our wish is to equip the whole of Africa with Transpay Solution Terminals. Mustafa Ndiaye believes he's the only one among many other innovative young Africans. The Association of Financing Urban Transport Professionals at first counted on Indian, Spanish or Italian engineers for such solutions. But that is seemingly changing. Leslie Marungu, CCTV.